everybody, this is Jose with Oakland Latinos Unidos, aka Oakland Latinos United, on here with a new video for you guys to enjoy. Now, the video I want to make today is about a subject and a topic I've heard before, and people have asked me, and I've heard other people ask it in other forums, and I've also been asked about it in person. And what that is, is why do Chicanos, Latinos, Raza from Oakland act and talk black? And do Raza from Oakland, the Bay Area, talk and act black? And I want to talk a little bit about that because I think it's a misconception about Raza from the town and Raza from the Bay Area that we want to be black and that we, we're less Mexican and we don't respect our Mexican or Raza or Latino roots or culture. And that's simply not the truth. But I made a video about something similar about a year ago about Raza and Chicanos in the Bay Area using the N-word. And this is similar, but it's a little different. So let's talk about it. So, you know, a lot of us who grew up in the Bay Area, especially those of us who grew up in the East Bay, Oakland, Richmond, Vallejo, Berkeley, you know, even Hayward, even Frisco, even Redwood City, East Palo Alto, you know what I mean? A lot of us who are Latinos or Raza who grew or Chicanos who grew up in those towns, we grew up around black people, you know what I mean? And face it, you know, Oakland, where I'm from, is considered a black city by many because, yes, Oakland did have a large black population at one point, you know what I mean? Uh, in the 80s, Oakland had a, a, about a 50% black population and, um, you know, it's it's a city where the Black Panthers came from. A lot of rap artists like Too Short, MC Pooh, you know, Filthy Rich, and so many others have come out of MC Hammer, etc. And, uh, you know, black culture has been very prominent in Oakland. You know what I mean? The sideshow started in Oakland. That came from black culture. You know what I mean? The music from Oakland came from black culture, a lot of it. And um, some of the styles and fashions originated with blacks in Oakland, so there's there's a mixture, you know what I mean, and a lot of us who are Chicanos or Latinos or Raza who grew up in Oakland, we were influenced by some of that, but at the same time, we always had our own culture, you know what I mean, and it also just depends what, what generation you're talking about, because I can tell you me being 43 years old and my brothers being in their 50s, being older than me, when we were young, Chicanos in Oakland and the Bay Area were more Chicano style. It was it wasn't it was it wasn't unusual to see a cholo in Oakland or a dude wearing Ben Davis or Dickies or Pendletons or, or you know with their hair slicked back. The only thing is in Oakland we always because we grew up around blacks, we always had somewhat of a black I could say swag to our voice, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? We've always used words like blood, even though we're not bloods. There is no bloods in Oakland. We've always said, what's up, blood? What's up, bruh? You know what I mean? You feel me? And stuff like that that we picked up from blacks. But at the same time, I use words like vato, ese. You know what I mean? I use a lot of Chicano words all the time. So in the past, I would say that that was a lot more common where you would see Chicanos that would use both kind of black and Chicano words and mash them up sometimes. And those of you who are about my age or older know what I'm talking about. Now, I've met even older Chicanos from back in the days who told me, oh, yeah, when I would meet homies from Oakland, they kind of sounded black. You know what I mean? And I think really at the end of the day, what it is, it, it depends where you grew up. It depends the region you're from. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But, like I was saying, it just depends on the generation. I think the generation from the hyphy generation on up kind of took up more of, of the hyphy Bay Area culture that was inspired a lot by African Americans. And, uh, you know, as opposed to the, to the past generations who were into lowriders, who dressed in Dickies and Ben Davis and 501s and, and, and cruised on Sunday afternoons and bumped oldies, this new generation took up gold grills, long hair, you know what I mean? Rolling scrapers, rolling, you know, 5.0s and, and burning donuts at sideshows. You know, a lot of it mimicking some of the black culture that had already came from Oakland from before. You know, and that that's um, 
I would say that's when things really started changing in Oakland. But at the same time, you got to remember, us being from the Bay Area, we grew up in a very urban environment. It wasn't necessarily an environment like, say, in L.A. You know, L.A. and Southern California, it's more closer to Mexico. And you know what I mean? And uh, it's not the stereotype thing, but, yeah, they seem to talk more with an accent. Like, hey, what's up, dog? from LA homes, you know, they, they seem to sound like that more, I'm not saying everyone in LA sounds like that, because they don't, but some Chicanos do, you know what I mean, and I have family members from LA that talk like that, you feel me, and when I go to LA, they always tell me, damn Jose, you talk a trip, eh, you kind of sound black, you know what I mean, and uh, I always got to tell them, because I'm from Oakland, you feel me, and um, you know, also, like, I was in L.A. one time. I remember I got lost, and I, and I asked this black dude for directions. He's like, damn, bro, you talk a trip. You talk like a brother. Where you from? I said, I'm from Oakland. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, you don't sound like an L.A. Mexican. So, you know, it, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how you talk. As long as you know who you are, and you're brown and proud, and you're proud of your raza, that's all that matters. You feel me? You know what I mean? Just because I don't talk Kahlo or don't talk like some dude from L.A. or, or from SoCal. <coughs> or I like talk like a straight up cholo like, hey, home, what's up, hey? You know, that doesn't mean that I'm less rasa. Anyone who thinks that is ignorant as hell. You know what I mean? And they need to check themselves because it's all about where you grew up. Now, mind you, <coughs> people like from, from Salinas, people from like San Jose, people from some parts of the Central Valley... Yeah, they still kind of have more of a Chicano style. They, they, you know, they're not so much into the urban stuff like people in Oakland and Richmond and Vallejo and, and, and San Francisco are into. And, and it's all good. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But, you know, I grew up around blacks. I grew up listening to black rappers, black musicians. I've dated black girls before. I grew up talking in East Oakland's talk. You know what I mean? You feel me? What's up, player? What's up, bruh? You know, I can talk like that. I can talk like fools from the town. You know what I mean? I grew up talking like that. But it doesn't mean that I'm less Rasa or less Chicano than the next man who talks like, Hey, what's up, Holmes? You know, that's 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 BS. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I'm a straight up, I'm straight up Rasa. I'm a straight up Chicano, Mexicano, Salvadoreño, indigenous man. And I'm proud of who I am. You feel me? And that's just, it is what it is. And if you don't like it, you could kick rocks. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? But I think Rasa, at the end of the day, we need to stop putting our people in a box. We need to stop expecting our people to be this way. Because let me tell you, I know a lot of Rasa in Oakland that don't talk Galo and don't talk black at all. They talk more like what would be stereotypically considered talking white. They talk very proper. You know what I mean? And I've met some homies from, from SoCal that are the same way. So, you know, it doesn't matter how you talk. You can talk black as hell. You could talk Chicano as hell. You could talk urban as hell. You could talk like from East L.A. But at the, of the same, at the end of the day, <coughs> we're all the same. We're all Rasa. We just grew up in different regions, in different areas. Our stories might be different, but our stories are very similar. You feel me? And that's how it is. And to me, I think the Raza that's more similar to the Bay Area, and I've been to these places, that's why I know, are like Raza from Houston, Texas, Raza from Chicago. They have more of that urban, what would be stereotypically considered trying to act black. You know what I mean? But I don't think it's really about trying to act black. It's just about where we grew up. You know what I mean? I grew up in Oakland. I grew up around a lot of black folks. I picked up a lot of black slang. You know what I mean? The funny thing is, a lot of these dudes that talk about, oh, well, you don't act Chicano, Holmes. You know, we're so Chicano. The thing with them is, they say that we want to act black so bad, but those dudes don't even like Mexican music. They don't even like corridos, banda. They don't even like salsa or cumbias, which is from Colombia. And, uh, you know, all they play is black artists. They play Mary Wells. They play James Brown, Al Green, Marvin Gaye. I mean, Chicanos play Marvin Gaye more than black people probably play Marvin Gaye. You know what I mean? But then they want to sit there and talk about, oh, you're trying to act black. But yet, all you listen to are black artists. 
And if I listen to some Rasa artists, you're like, oh, I don't listen to that Baisa shit. You know what I mean? So don't come at me with the hypocrisy. You know what I mean? I actually do like Latin music. I talk like I'm from Oakland, but I love Latin music. I play Latin music. I play Spanish music. I don't even play English music. I'm a musician. Those of you who don't know, I play Spanish music. You know what I mean? And I like banda. I like corridos. I like cumbias. I like salsa. I like merengue. I like bachata. I like it all. I don't just like hip hop and all these. I like everything across the board. But at the end of the day, let's leave it at this. It's all about your region. You got to be congruent to where you came from. And that's just how it is. You know what I mean? Whether people like it or not. If you're from L.A., you're going to be congruent with the way people from L.A. are. If you're from Oakland, you're going to be congruent with the way people from Oakland are. If you're from Sacramento, you're going to be congruent with how Sacramento people are. And etc. You feel me? It's just about your environment and where you grew up. And it doesn't matter how you talk. As long as you're brown and proud and you're not a sellout, that's all that matters. You know what I mean? Keep it 100. You know? All I can say is stay brown. Be proud of who you are. Don't let these suckers tell you, oh, you don't, you, you're less Chicano because you don't talk like me. Because that dude is probably a hater and don't know what he's talking about and he's hella ignorant. And that's it. That's all I really have to say. Hopefully you guys like this video. Comment. Let me know what you think. Am I wrong? Am I right? And that's all I have to say. Keep it 100. Rasa love. Chicano power. Straight from East Oakland. What is it?